Who does no tokens is worse than for Jean Quilbo, in my opinion. Which sounds crazy. Anomaly and chill. Dragons are too bad. Like, I, I prefer that we roll rather than having a dragon as a 1-4. Is this patch a good patch to play Balgrands? Didn't play for 7-8 months. Yeah, it's a good patch. Not the best of all time, but it's a solid patch. I have to level, these minions are just goddamn awful. I would even say this patch is pretty good. Even if I play it 8 hours per day, I'm not really getting bored of it. Just because you have a hero power doesn't mean that you have to play it. Do I, I can make spawn a free free, but... Mm. I don't know, free free is like much better than Tutu. I don't want to think of spawn only of it only as it's a death rattle. If I knew a runner was this weak, I would put Glyph first. I, have a good feeling about that. I prioritize stats here over duplicate. Can we get predictions? Yes. Why can't I click on cards on overlay? Uh, the overlay had some problems. Firestone fixed them, and now they're pending uh, Twitch approval. Interactive Balrand's porn overlay would be great. Yeah. Maybe in, in like a future uh, patch. I'll buy the bacon relaxer and just make it a 2-4. I want to get myself to tavern 4. Tavern 4 is where the game is played. On tavern 4 we have Light Spawn. On tavern 4 we have Big Fernal, Ring Matron and Doomsayer. On tavern 4 we have Nes Matron. On tavern 4 we have Mechanotank. This game is just so good for tavern 4. We just weren't offered a start that could rush it and we have to play normal curve. Normal curve is terrible, so I'll just level next turn. Dude, taking 7 damage on this fight is just horrendous. And should never happen. It's too big of a number for how the fight went. It's always good to have you back. You always get Mechano Tank, I think. Should I make Mechano Tank a 0 5? Or I could get Egg and make Egg a 5-3 and just don't buy the tank. Play nice, minion. The battle continues. So I should have made tank a 2-5, right? It was better than making it a 0-5. But this way I also make my egg a 5-3. So maybe in like the grand scheme of things it was correct. It's correct only if you buy the egg, otherwise you should just make tank a 2-5. So it becomes a 4-7. Four nine tank is naughty. I want to make Jim Splitter better.
I don't like Cardguard that much. I know I have zero divine shields. I'm in the progress of a, I'm in the process of acquiring some divine shields. It's a lengthy process. I want the coin flip against the Rana. Victory. That's how it's done. Okay, you really want Ground Shaker, Divine Shields. Dynamic Duo is good, but yeah, we need something like Bobot. Much more than we need the duel. Oh, it's Drekthar's favorite too. Slowly but surely. Next time I'm gonna just play the gems that I generate. And then move stats from Warden to Pop Bot to permanently give them a lot of attack. And then I don't know what to do. Edwin96, thank you for the free months, Edwin. I appreciate it. Nice. Thanks to Bronze Warden, we generate one extra gem. Nice, nice, nice. The tank in the back is so good. It's just a small hard carry. Excellent addition to your team. Recruitment time, my favorite. Out. El Divino Roboto. Yes, yes, you buy El Divino Roboto here. Should have rolled. You always want to switch um, minions after you play the gems because they permanently keep the buffs. This is why Vol'jin is so busted with blood gems. Should have put Warden faster here. I might be missing some value. Come on, attack here or here. This guy is so strong and we're just... Damage capping him. See, Deflecto and this are super big, and now I'm gonna do the same with the Poppy and this. I should go to 5 for Mackerel, though. Module for later cannot be bad. I mean, I want to switch this with this.
Let's do it like this. I don't want to freeze for that. This comp can be ridiculously powerful, but I need to value it properly. Like, we need to try to triple Jim Splitter or triple the Ground Shaker or just go to 6. Or go to 6 and triple. We have so many plays available. By the way, you have a pl you have a play. Let me let me show you something after this fight. I want second splitter. Um, I can switch stats from this to this, and then this can have like a hundred blood gems on it. Then we can switch the blood gems as well, and it's like so much extra value. I think we kick the tank. I don't want second tank, and tank is getting weaker. We can kick the tank here, yes. Grisbot is okay. First place is yours. This calls for a celebration. Not even sure if I have hand space for all these gems. Ah, the double pyro spawn fucks me here, dude. The double pyro spawn wrecks me. I have a very powerful play lined up. Just need the right board to execute it. It wasn't a wasted hero power, you permanently get to keep the stats. It is not a waste. You're force. I need a triple or a necrolite. Holy mackerel is too good here. First place is yours. This calls for a celebration. Chato saying easy first place. Seeing this guy's board, I don't know if it's gonna be easy, and I don't know if it's gonna be first place. Terrible order. Back, it was not a terrible order in my opinion.
We can kick Pop Bot. But maybe Ground Shaker switch with Cleave is better. I want to module for Reaper and put for Reaper first. But I need the kick. Or triple on Shaker. Triple on Shaker means that I don't need to kick. Trust me, chat, I know what I'm doing. I wanna empty my hand so I can get 10 gems per fight. Golden Splitter is naughty. I also want to Necrolite the, the Shaker onto the Reaper. We found Necrolite. That's the play I was envisioning. Poor guy is depleted of resources. I'll keep him as a cleave stopper. I should switch this with Deflecto next turn. Can you explain what just happened? Yes. I played all the gems on Ground Shaker. Then I switched its stats to another minion, which was Bronze Warden in this situation. And after I switched the stats from the Ground Shaker, he still had like 40 gems on it. So I just moved the 40 gems on my 4 Reaper. It works. Gems still stay, even if you switch the stats. This guy got lucky. You're an unstoppable force. I want Menace. Menace is super powerful. I might kick the small shaker if I don't manage to triple it. Time to see our new recruits. I'm thinking about cutting the Bronze Warden to go Menace in this. I want to freeze Menace. Menace is like the best upgrade. You want Deflector to have Menace, you want Reaper to have Menace. And now I need another Deflector over the Bronze Warden and I'm endgame comp. 
It's funny that he had ghoul last time and he doesn't have ghoul now. Oh my god, so close to actually killing it. So close to murdering his 4 Reaper. The guy cannot believe how big I am. Dude, I bet he cannot believe his eyes. He cannot believe his eyes. Problem is that we probably don't kill him. But can somebody actually build to beat this? I want to look for a deflector. Recruitment time, my favorite. Why not swap the stats with menace? Recruitment time, my favorite. I don't need to. I just want Menace to exist, the Deflector is big enough already. Do I make these two health? It's a bit risky. Yeah, Deflector being more health is more important. I just want another massive Deflector. The mess the boss tag is not even that good. The only issue I have with this is that I'm only getting 8 gems. I want empty hand to get 10 gems. Can you imagine how much more powerful this would be if you'd have infinite hand size? Wow, we actually have a high chance to lose. Double mechano tank just melts me. I cannot believe I'm getting melted by double tank. That's insane. This guy is OP. I could kick Gem Splitter. But if you kick Gem Splitter and you tie, you're gonna feel like an idiot, because then you have like no power for next turn. So you have to be very careful. You have to be extremely careful. Dude, the guy is melting me. I think the 60% where I win is if I cleave the Meccano tank. You cleave tank, you win. You don't cleave tank, you lose. I lost to a guy who's dead for like two turns, dude. And now I'm gonna go take what's mine and win this game. Reaping that seems like bait, but is it? I don't play fast enough, sorry. I just mentally blanked. I should have switched with this 4 Epoch and make it bigger. Mentally blanking. I'm too big. 
sorry. Sorry for the brain fart. So, I should have played all my gems and then switched Shaker with Foripper, probably. And then put Foripper 1 later so that we can reset that more consistently. I'm winning quite a lot recently. My macro game plan is good, but I'm doing too many mistakes in the micro game plan. Either buying too many useless units or not knowing exactly what to buy and how to position. At least I'm getting better with positioning, thanks to Firestone. 